Hello, welcome to the Freeman Conversations. I'm Joe Bert Okao, the online editor of the Freeman, and everyone is excited in the room because we have with us today the gold medalist. We have with us the gold medalist in marathon in the Southeast Asian Games 2017, and even before the victory she gave to the country, she made a name for herself as being the very first Filipina to also compete in marathon in last year's Olympics in Brazil. Please welcome to the Freeman and of course to the Freeman Conversations, Cebu Spry, Mary Joy Tabal. Thank you very much for being with us today and of course we have some flowers for you. Yes, thank Congratulations you. Mary Joy. And of course with her today is her coach since 2009, Sir Philip Duenas. If you have questions for Mary Joy and her coach today, please feel free to join us. This is a free-flowing, casual conversation. So we're going to talk about her experience in the SEA Games as well as in last year's Olympics, if we can. And we're going to talk about also about her plans in the future as an athlete and uh, as a representative of the Philippines. So I think the very first question that everyone wants to know is that, how does it what does it take to be a champion in an international sports competition? Uh, mayong hapon na itong tanan, labi na sa mga Cebuano, and good afternoon to all Filipinos outside Cebu. <laughs> thank you for having me here this afternoon. So for me, the recipe of being of becoming a champion or for becoming a Mary Joy Tabal, I am now, it's more on 100% um, dedication on your chosen sport. With discipline and hundred, uh, you're you're persistent to to your goal, and also um, the discipline. Uh, stick to your goal and have that passion that um, you really love that sport. When you say discipline and dedication, what does it mean exactly? Um, dedication meaning to whatever or whatever. Will come up, uh, unsay mahitabo ni mo along the road. Your, maskin unsay mahitabo if you're dedicated to your sport. So, mo baro gragi hapon ka just to, to, to fight or kung unsay mo hang, um, kung unsay mo magi ad. So, and then, uh, discipline because it takes time right. and a lot of effort, uh, sweat. So, you really have to have that um, discipline kay dili ni basta basta ng sport it's an endurance sport and especially karon because i'm not only representing um, or running for myself but it's more on bringing the country's name so i have to be more dedicated and disciplined to my what is your typical day like um, uh, my typical day like yeah. It's it's actually boring kay I only <laughs> um wake up in the morning to train and then what eat time up you wake the, up? Usually it, it, it differs in places man kay kung there is a Cebu or sa Philippines I usually wake up very early at 4 okay. or kung na tay mga long runs okay. na tag-as at 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then kaon after so train, eat, sleep and repeat. <laughs> So, maura na siya. So, in different area, like katang dito ko sa Italy or Japan, kaya mo, kung ano mangguta mo, consider ka sa temperature or weather. Correct. So, yeah. kung bug now, usually mag-training me at 10 a.m. or noon, then in the evening. So, there is the Philippines. If you wake up at 4 o'clock, when do you start actual training? Um, 5, 5 a.m. Okay. Finish at 8 or finish at 8 a.m. or more. And then... After that, breakfast and then rest and then lunch and then prepare for another training in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. What does the training entail exactly? Um, because of course that couldn't just be pure running, right? You have to do yeah. other things also. Yes. yes. Coach will explain yeah. my training. We have Go ahead, Coach. Yeah. Please. We have also cross training, uh, like uh, spinning and then uh, swimming also. Mm. Yeah. yeah, mix. Not all the time uh, run. 
Kan lang. Yeah. Every time uh, nami hard workout, next to that is recovery workout. I see. Yeah. Okay. So the hard workout that includes the the other uh, swimming and all those things. Every after only every after hard workout, there's a swim or bike yeah. or elliptical workout. What does that contribute to her? Uh, what aspects? To yeah. which aspect do those uh, contribute? Actually, uh, if if join my both the same hard workout, usually uh, lower part. Okay. So in the afternoon, we need uh, work on the upper, na, not on the lower part. So we need, yeah, yeah, cross training. Yeah, cross training on the upper. Mm -hmm. okay, if if there's a workout, the same uh, muscle groups on the lower part. So fatigue mas higher na yon. So uh, especially if a um, workout is kanang uh, intensity workout na most. I it is the workout, so we need uh, extra recovery in the afternoon. So, ang metaguan is six, uh, six times workout. Six so, days a week. Uh, six days a week. Yeah, one one, one day, day rest. rest. One rest day. Yeah. yeah one Saturday. Rest day. Saturday. Saturday. Okay. How did you prepare for the sea games? What was your schedule? What was the preparation like? Um, I o prepared. Unsa kadugay yah? Yeah, I prepared sea games for three months. Uh, I was in Italy for for this preparation and for why Italy? Mm, um, Italy because um, uh, my coach Philip has um, uh, partnership uh, has a partnership with a Japanese coach which I trained last year mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. preparation for the Olympics and then this Japanese coach has also um, a a friend in Italy. In Tuscany, si Coach Jambroni, mm -hmm. and then now after my Olympics, Coach um, Osami contacted Coach Philip. Mm -hmm. Na before we go back to Japan, Japan. I need to try the training in Tuscany in mm -hmm. Italy. Yeah. Kay ko uh, it's more on prepare, preparing me for an intense training or higher, higher, high intense training. Kay I'll be training with some elite runners from Uganda, mm -hmm. Burundi, and also. Um, from Italian team, so it focuses more on the long distance running. So, when you say elite runners, what's it possible, Anna? More on uh, elite, ma consider na ako as professional runners because they are national athletes also from Uganda and Burundi and mm. Italian team. So, in life, it's like more that. on the same like mm. me. So, pure, pure running lang yun ilang life. And then also, they competed to a lot of um, bigger. Bigger competitions like Olympics, mm -hmm. World Championships, and other bigger events like um, European Championships. So mga dagko nagikailangan ipang apinas ko. So mas na porsigi ko dito, mas na push ko kay, um, mas na motivate ko seeing them na they're very focused on their goals. So mas na usas na nakapahatag na ako confidence na na kaya sad na ko kay I I've been training with them for three for months. Three months. Yes. Were you the only Filipino training yes. with them? Yes. How did it feel? Um at first for, at first ko yung mini coach dito the first time we visited Tuscany. So para na kun ko coach pwede ka ko dere nga mura mag for me mura kog bata nga nasagol nila or <laughs> I, I compare him, na compare na ko akong self na mura kong elementary then I was tra training with the college students ba so ano ba why why did yes, you feel kay, that yes kay for me they ilang speaking of their records very tag as na kayo and then um ilang mga level of uh, competitions nga ilang apilan kay pang higher na gyud but then um being uh, staying with them for uh, um, mga few weeks nakita na ko nga they're very Kanang open and they welcome me. They encourage me. They they ko an um marakong ila pag yugi push na unsa pa kaya na ko and then so they're very good also. They're very nice people. So mas na open na kung mind na. How many were you training together? Um, more than one camp or something. Yeah, it's a okay. camp. Tuscany camp. More than more or less sometimes mabot like ten or more than ten. Mabot me twenty. Okay, people come and go, man. Depends on their mm -hmm. answer, coming competitions. Ikaw, coach, um, what did you feel there in Tuscany? Uh, actually, uh, anak ni mo sa ilahan. Uh, first is their kwan medical 
medical team. I see. Yeah, medical team. Actually, at uh, last May, that lead to me. Uh, ang ako is more an observation uh -huh. uh, sa tanan nga program nila. So one of that is their medical team. Ano man, coach? Uh, every time na may problem ang athlete, automatic na ang medical team mo supports. And then before doing a certain competition or training, may somebody nga mo assist din mo. Overall so, check-up. So overall check-up before ka. So na-learn mm -hmm. na ako and then na-apply po na ako din sa, what, sa Puma. Mm -hmm. So good thing that Motor is sponsoring us. Mm. Uh, holy uh, expensive everything, everything. everything. Okay. Uh, tanan. So, natagang ako opportunity nga maka-learn about that. And then, what about well, tanan sa Philippines? That kind of uh, treatment? Uh, at World Athletes? Yes, so far, wala pa kayo. Mm. Wala pa kayo. Kay, kay uh, makita mo na ito nga, dili pa kayo kung sabi tayo ang sports ato ah. Mm -hmm. okay. so, There's a lot to improve on. Yes, in the more or less, ang atong focus is more on a medical side is sa katong mga regular nga tao, but not in the sports. Mm -hmm. okay. Bago lang kaya yung nagsugod sa ito. Uh. Hopefully next year, with the uh, uh, support sa atong Philippine Sports Commission. Kaya naka-ready naman sila o kuwan. Mga program. Yeah, program. And then, na-try na namo sa kuwan. Sa, sa Malaysia. Before sa ihang competition, nai doctor dito na ni visit sa yah sports psychologist. Okay, from the Philippines also. Yeah, we have that. Yeah, we have that. Aside from that, what else did we learn from their style of training? The training, actually, dua ako mag compare sa Japan o sa Italy. Okay. Ah, ako sa ihi start ang ang nanu na start ni sa ihi naging mag program. Yes, please. Actually, ah, ang Ang first part yun namo is ang Japanese coach. Ang goal bid nam, ang goal bid namo sa Japanese coach is sa Tokyo 2020. Okay. And then Japan na siya mag, di ba mayon? So ang gusto namo wapo ang performance ni Joy. In order na ma-improve na ang performance ni Joy, malindot yung performance, masulod man or ma-champion na sa Olympic. So kaya na ni Joy na mo try ng other na pag nga training camp. So mo na ang Italy. Okay. And then now nakita na mo nga ang i ang Italy na training is more on uh, high intensity workout with the team. Okay. Oh, I like here sa ato ah uh, individual training high intensity. So in order what's yung, the difference? The difference is mapush ka sa more limited na kay kuyo. Okay. Somebody. So you can, you can compare yourself. Yes. Yeah. So mo na nga na learn na mo nga every time mag training kaya nang gid as kaya makita mo gud mo this is individual sports. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But kaya nang gidapon din mo nga nice ang body nga daghan din mo nga mo pace din mo all throughout a support system yes yeah, support system. system sa Japan is more on uh, nas a certain procedure if mo ni ang pace automatic sa undo na lang mo siya di ka pwede mo exceed na okay oh so more on kuan sila methodical yeah yes dito sa Italy is kaya nang i-push din mo limit kung asa na kaya how long ang training sa Italy mm -hmm. i mean in a day how long did you have to train Depends on <coughs> depends okay. on the program yeah. activity in a certain day. So kung hard hard yun, digig ka kay mo. If hard gani, di na mo feel uh, tomorrow is mm. mag uh, patay na sa dio, magpatay na sa. What's the hard nga training? Please. Um. Give us an idea. <coughs> hard because for me, ma excite ko and naiga my fear if ma buhat na nako. Eh, it's more on namang good ko ko yung nga kabaw ko mas kusgan pa nako. So I'll be ma-push pagig ko mayo ba and then so oh coach ang ako ko coach dito kay uh, ang program ang good na mo if hard kay ko nga wa, mo add pa siya o oh, kuan ba kung unsa ya ko ang nabuhat last time mas iya pang it push try harder. Ko, yeah, push me next, harder the yes training. the target will become more harder and harder na na actually ang adun na ko ang mm. ang mas nakaad ni Joy kanang buot na sabot nga hard Three times in one day, silang training. Mo na pina ka nito. Six o'clock in the morning. Okay. Eleven o'clock, and then five o'clock. And what time? Ah, five to six thirty ang afternoon. Eleven to twelve ang kwan. So ang lunch niya osay maghuyog na. So double lang yah. Ang total load niya magmakabur in one day taas na kayo. Okay. Yah, unlike dili sa Pilipinas, di mo nakabur workout ng eleven. Kaya tumot sa init. So mo na nga, may buong mo nga. Ano, 4 o'clock man yung mata si Joy? Kaya ang temperature na nga around 4 o'clock is buong na ako kayo. So maka-train, maka-workout, check tayo. 
Kaya di kabot ng 8.30, wala, dili na ka-perform ang mga atlita tarong. Muna, mas mayo bit, mag-training sa mob na wak kumpara sa init. In Tuscany, may hindi na? In Tuscany, what's say, what was the weather like there? Ah, uh, sa start na mag May, na siya sa around 14, 15, 16. But early morning, 6 o'clock, mga mood siya 8 degrees, 9 degrees. Oh, so, mas mas kwan siya, mas nindot siya kay, because we have to work hard yes. to, to warm up yourself. Mm. Okay. Ano kung actually ang heat training is guwa ko sa jam training. Ang heat training is guwa ko in the sense nga ay kwa ka na pili mo init but ang problem is dili mo mako ang optimum ni mga speed or uh -huh. certain target ni mga pace. So may tabo distracted na ka sa target ni mga pace. So mo na nga nakaninot sa other countries nga itong mga boom na kay maka train sila 3 times. Mm -hmm. So ang total volume nila for the entire year mas taas o okay. volume compared sa ito. Ah. So ang Pilipinas is uh, Para na ako, kung hindi pa kayo, kung nga resibo lang ha, hindi pa kayo, hindi nakakuha sa target na itong volume training. Tungod kayo twice lang tama ka training. So, ilang is three times. So, that's actually the science behind it. Yes. Because many people are asking, na nung sa gawas, maybe siya mag-train, mm. right? Na pwede naman dili, and we're naman tayo tatang lugar, kada kanda gana dito mm. Philippines. So, now the coach is telling us and explaining why Telling us the advantages of training in other That's areas. the environment, uh, about the environment lang. Okay, environment. Actually, pwede mong yapon ta maka kuan na matay area sa, sa Baguio or sa asama lugar sa Pilipinas. But other thing also is ang um, kanin kuyog niya mga pacer. Yes. So, medyo kusog kusog ng mga pace ni Joy. Pwede na kaysa mo close up on time. Uh -huh. What was your time? So, 30 minutes. Uh, 112 and the Nihai is 116. My best time is 1 hour 12, and the youngest time run is 1 hour 16. It's only a matter of time, Joy. But now, <laughs> yeah, now is dili na kayo nga naka mag-training. Oh, my time is around 115, 116. Okay. So, medyo na na si Joy sa umulit ko. Okay. Mm. So, ang picture niya na may tango is na. <laughs> oh, pwede kayo mag-indi ko niya. <laughs> Okay. Then as I said, medical team. Yeah, medical. Kung magkukusan magod mi kay every training, the medical team is there. So, example, mag crumbs mi so automatic face stop. Go to medic. Don't go to medic. Magkukusan magod mi one week before the competition. Nagi mi kwan, nami examination ako aton. Yeah, secret. Okay. In Italy, how many did you? Around thirty. You say it varies, no? It varies. Depende, but majority of those who train male. Male, yes, male. Mm -hmm. And my pacers are usually male. Okay, how many female athletes were there? With Less you? than... Three or four? Three or four. How did it feel? Training with elite male competitors? Mm, mas yeah. ma-challenge ko. And yeah. then, I like them because they're very positive. Kay every training, mm -hmm. every kind of mag long run ko, kay Many times that I really wanted to give up, kay sakit ka po, di mana po di na po kaya. Murag, sometimes ko ang giyod na gi times na mo give up biko, but no, 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 you have to keep going. It's okay, you're doing good. Kaya nang, um, for me, mas ko ang sila ba, very positive. And, They motivated you. Yeah, yes. So, is that what you expected? In when, before going there, did you expect them to be more welcoming? Or did you expect them to be no, more no. competitive? Um, what did you expect? What could I expect na they will be helping me that much? Okay. For them, they, they should focus on themselves, diba? Okay. It's, they have different road, I have different road also. Mm -hmm. But them, they're willing to help me. Okay. Never sila mo baliba, balibad na... na Every training, kinahanan kong pacer, okay, willing sila mo, tabang. And then, kuan sila ba? Mga, for me, totoo ng tao yun. So, uh, if not that, selfish, they're uh, willing to willing to share everything uh, sa pagkaon, tanan, preparation, and, ano, and on, on sa ilang mga, on sa ilang mga life story po, ba? On sa ilang gihubutan po o mga kusog uh, mm -hmm. to continue. And para nila, layo lang daw ko nung kaayos sa dakuha. So, sila ha, mas, mas willing din sila mutabang. And pagkabaw nila sa ako ang achievement karon sila ang pinakalipay. Kay, ay, kabaw sila nga part sila sa ako. Yeah, they, they saw, they saw. Yes.
Giliran niya ako achievement, a pin sila ni, so... That must be very hard to earn. Yes, yes. What did you learn from them in, in Italy? Um, for me, Koan, um, it's more on... Um, unsa sila ka dedicated yun sa ilahang running and ilang sports. Kay... No need na nimo sila yung nun na training dito. Because they will really train. And... As kinong sa Murag, wala ko kakita nila mo reklamo sila na kaya ba ni nila buhaton they're very will, willing to do it kung mana ihatag na training mm -hmm. so so going to the southeast asian games in Malik, what were your expectations i remember reading um, an article of the freeman before you, a, a day before you competed in malaysia you actually felt pressure yes why was that you were already competing in the olympics ah uh, Pressure because uh, I know pressure is also is already part of us. No, okay, we're, we're, we're representing the country. It's really a big responsibility for us, and um, the pressure because um, I'm pressured to deliver a good performance because I've been training really hard in Italy, and I also wanted to really give a gold medal, first gold medal to our country. And also, I know a lot of people are expecting me to give a gold medal, so... And you did. Yes, and I did, but... A <laughs> lot of pressure, but I, I'm, I'm very excited also at the same time because I've been preparing for this and I've been working hard for this, so I'm expecting to, to really have a good performance on that day. And motto, so pressure and excitement. Like, what were your expectations going into the SEA Games? Mm, expectation, yeah. I'm expecting to get a gold and I'm expecting this because I worked hard for this. And also, I if I won't get the gold, I will be very disappointed. <laughs> so, I'm going to say, Coach, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, but a few days, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Unsa ka no asa ka ko one week after sa kung si games kung di ko kagos gold nagimatch na ko ana so okay. na ko you're, you're considering the worst case scenario yeah I'm all already nine times nga I'm I'm thinking how to celebrate my gold medal but what ko nag expect ani ha ngayon ani day ang ang gra ang ang unsa ba feeling sa pagkuha nagin sa gold but nag expect sa ko nga Ah, did you go to the Philippines? I'm just going to go to the Philippines. I'm going to go to Italy. Yes, I'm going to go to Italy. And then, I'm going to go to Italy. I'm going to go to Italy. I'm going to go to Italy. Nai part nga si ko imagine ni buta sa feeling maka gold oy then nai sang feeling nako kung di so ni ana ko ako digit ni nako ba pasaylo ako ka ugalingon mo hilak jud ko mayo gyud so mo gita ko kwan pero mo ko di lagi daog lagi ko ani daog ko so more on positive positive pili mo na kong negative and then added pressure man gold cuz a lot of people no part of us is really medias Keep on question, uh, sending interviews a day before. Mm -hmm. Go no, I have to take this as a positive way. Okay? They really wanted to to get my side also. Sige, ready na ko na. Nagihap na lang ko sa oras na mo start na. And then so it it also added a little pressure for me because I really have to give good good side, but side nga na ang nasa gmato kung si Gigi stick already. I'm very ready that time. And it, I'm I'm also fighting the side. Di pa ko ganon mo reply, but I really have to reply. Then, Filipino media. Yeah, and then also a lot of Filipinos, my friends, are sending messages. I can see it, but I don't open the messages. Sing zone. Yeah. Na wala si sing zone mo ba? Na wala sa ako ang notification man. Joy, please give us the first gold medal tomorrow. I know, I know. Yeah, actually. Yes, and then Joy, let us. Yes, yes. Joy, please let let us let. Let let all the Filipinos hear the national anthem tomorrow. Yes, kabaw ko so inana kabugat ako na feel a night before. Then I really have to sleep. So kinhala na ko yoff na kung phone kay. How much How much sleep did you have the night before the competition? Nas five 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 hours. Just five hours? Yes. Is that enough? Yeah, for me it's enough. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm very excited now. So I woke up. I woke up before my alarm alarms. Okay. So part of adrenaline. Okay. What if they? What if they more alarm? So. What were your expectations going into the sea gates? It's the most relaxed actually. Ako rin mo rin praning. Walang ang kabaw ni Zangan at yung itlog. Actually, master pa dyan. Ah, medyo kanyan. Kulbaan yun at first. Kaya the plan is first mga first two loops is adjustment lang. Kaya there is day na. Yeah, there is day. Okay, cool ba na kayo? But kaya if magpadalang gusto ang cool ba? Affected. Affected siya. Actually ako magetik badlo nga ni the grace and then so ako expectation is cool yun, gold yun, gold yun kaya niya. Kaya kung kaya kaya ni Joy magbold. But the problem what what made you say that? Because of her best time sa Iyahang 21K. Okay. So, she got 160 something. Yes, 160, 29. 26 or 29. Last May. So, kaya... So, this was in Italy? No, no. It's in Canada. Ah, alright. May 29, 28, 29. Yeah. But, naalang kay problem na gamay kay the Vietnamese magod na kuhan record niya is bago lang. 2.45 yung best time sa marathon. March. Last March. Oh, so last March. So, akong ibuwat, the night before the race, nag-research ko daan sa iyang event. Kung sa iyang ibuwat ka nung na-achieve niya ito, 45, and then basta ko silang news, translate pa na ako yung English, para mabasa na ako ang gatong sa media. Ah, ako din ang Korean time. Ah, the last part, eh, mas nakusog niya kay downhill. So, nga na, ah, medyo nabil ako ka doon. Ah, kaya na enjoy the course. So, kaya na lang keep na niya ang pace in the course to loop. So, mo to na ako ah. Sure niya, basta dili lang yung magka-problem na first two loops. So, mo to na na-achieve din lang. What was your time? 248. 248. 248 and 20 something. 29. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. Ah, oh, so wala pa na mga pag kung sila i-declare ato. Usually, tayo yung chip mag i-declare na Okay. The very first, the very first person, okay, before I ask this, last year you competed at the Olympics. Yes. What were the lessons from there that you brought with you to Malaysia in the SEA Games? For me, I don't want the same mistake I did in Rio. Which was? Mahita po ka ron. Like the nutrition, wala kayo ko na streak ato going there. Okay, wala. Late mga ba niya arrive? Oh, late siya na arrive and I'm very overwhelmed with the Olympic Village na, oh, unlimited tanan. So, I have to take this. So, I gained weight days before. I've been training in Japan with the diet. Very strict diet in Japan. But upon my arrival in Rio, because I stayed for, I think, a week before my competition or two weeks. A week na. So, Siguro na usab ako ng diet, but now my lesson in Italy kung unsay ako ang diet, we follow the same diet up up and arriving here in Cebu and in Malaysia, so we follow the same diet. I have to maintain a certain weight going to my race. So in Rio, wala na ako na bantay yun, and also. So this is the essence you brought me. Now in Malaysia, you were more conscious of your yeah, of what you were eating. Yeah, my diet and oh yes, the nutrition. Yes. Coach, uh, she brought the gold home for the Philippines in the Sea Games. What's next for Mary uh, The next target is from a coach perspective, Asian Games next year. Uh, all of us. Jakarta and Indonesia. Actually, it's, this, this is a long-term plan. Three years plan. Uh, the main target is the top oh, okay. okay. So, we want to improve our time there and also maybe the ranking. Okay. So, one of the main. That's why NAMI training abroad. In order to improve our time, this is international uh, training, culture of their sports. So, we're not in man. 
So the kami mga learn ana. And then aside from that is kaning ka mga training na uh, gibuhat ni Joy Abroad. Dili ra ni for for us. Mm. For everybody say. Yes. Kay unsa mo mga learn to share man ang magtika about na magtika sa Cebu. So more than uh, so yeah. our our grassroots program. So more than uh, push gi mi ani, push mi ani kay Maybe kay wom ta kay bawal kung say next ni Joy after Tokyo 2020. So at least we we'll learn something from other country. So ang um, input and then we have sa ato ang sa ato ang program dito sa city. Sa city. Okay. Part she, of the okay. program no? Yeah. Maato ko sa Kenya. Yeah. Maybe next year. Next year. Okay. Part of that. To prepare for, for the, the Asian Games. Yeah. Yeah. Asian, 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 Asian Games going to Tokyo 2020. Okay. This year, will you have trainings this year? Yes. By October, okay. I'll be going back to Italy. Yeah, the two of us. October, yes, October, November. <laughs> November, and then. <laughs> December. <laughs> December. <laughs> okay. Beijing. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. after that, uh, vacation set. Uh, December, December I'll be back here. Matter. Then after January, back. So. January to okay, the maybe visa, one year. Visa mo ba is only 90 days. Ah, right. Sa Italy. So, mo na na 90 days right yes, stay for, 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 for training. Okay. Asian Games next year, when is it going to be? August. 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 In Indonesia? Indonesia. Yeah. Jakarta, Indonesia. Jakarta. Okay. So, go for gold for next year. Mm -hmm. I can't commit right now. Wala <laughs> <laughs> ka, wala ka ako ka. No pressure. Yeah, no, no pressure. <laughs> Pressure na daan, <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, for the benefit of those who might not know, you actually graduated management accounting uh, undergrad and you proceeded to to take a master's in public administration where your coach was your classmate. Yes. yes. <laughs> Crushmate. <Okay. So, laughs> what, what, what year was this? What, what year? Um, I graduated my... MA 2000, October 2011. Then I proceeded masters in public ad and graduated on October 20, no, 20, 2012. Okay. And but coach has been coach since 2009. Right? Yes. Right. Undergraduate, that's when you started running. When did you start running? Long distance college. Na, college. 20 years. With him as your coach. Yeah, already. 20. I started as a sprinter, 12 years old, but um, during high school, I stopped. I focused on the academics, so okay. I sacrificed sports in high school just to focus on my studies. And then in college, I used sports to finish my college, so as a varsity scholar. So, my main priority is to finish my studies first, so my love for running was actually started at the age of 12, but I have to also consider my studies, so education, yeah, education. so wako magdahom na it's through sports na mas matabangan pa ko ba. Mm -hmm. So this was in Southwestern University? Yes, in Southwestern. Okay. So, how did your coach convince you to shift to marathon, long distance? I was in my middle of third year college when he approached me. Actually, ko ano to, uh, um, daghan siya approach nga runner's pod, but uh, ganan din siya mo experiment yun into coaching a long distance because he's also a long distance runner in Southwestern. But, murag, walay, wala pa mo mo salig me at the time <laughs> and then he saw the potential in me and he said um, after you graduate in college wala na yung mga sprint events only mm, in college okay. competitions and then that time in 2009 um, long distance running fun runs has started to grow in Cebu mm -hmm. yes so i was um, uh, he trained me and then sige ako i try so moto it's very challenging for me kay I cannot even finish three rounds in the truck oval, and 3K has seven and a half rounds. So, um, this was in this was around what year? 2009. Okay. Uh, so, this um, training program is the first goal is to finish 3K. Yeah, walk, jog, walk, jog. This basic yet tanan as in I started as a zero long distance runner, 3K, and then after compete na ko if ready okay. na ko sa 3K, okay, compete try. 
So once ma contented na siya sa ko ang time sa 3K, then we we try uh, we prepare for a 5K. So try na po may 5K. Yeah, the first 5K no. First 5K was the mile of I think mas gusto pa mo time trial sa 5K kaysa on the competition itself. Okay, na over na overwhelmed ko and then nakakita ko sa mga competitor mga preview sprinters po ba so kani magpakitang gilas na may ani kay Puros ni sprinter. So, the start, I really sprinted yun. I thought it was just 400 meters. <laughs> after, two, after two kilometers, nahukdan ako. Ano ko? Muli na lang siguro. <laughs> Nahasag na ako. Nagana kayo na lagi ba? That was my long, my long Cebu elimination 2009. And then I remembered... What he said, na if you finish the 5K, I'll, I'll give a surprise for you because he was in Manila doing the Milo also. Ah, so, okay. na, nakasalalay ang sapatos kasi that time <laughs> I don't have I don't have um, original brand new shoes. I'm used to buying it okay okay. So, so I was thinking, oh, I really have to finish the 5K. So I continued even though ni kapoy na ko. And then later, oh, nakarecover ko. So I passed by the other runners and I finished sixth overall in the female. But what's ang um, first five na naguna na ko puros mga bata in kumpantay ng gymnasium. <laughs> Moto, pagbalik niya, pagtawag niya, and then siya, nangumusta siya, yung ko nga, ano na, ibong siya nga nung inana kong time, yung ko nga, like in over speed, go back start, and then, ko din ako mga 5K, kaya di man ako mga bata. <laughs> so, we started training the um, 10K the next few months, and then it's it's in the first 10K that I collapsed in the finish line. So, it's also my, parang ako ang U-turn in, in my long distance career, kay after finishing the 10K when I collapsed, so I, I, I also received a lot of um, discouragements, especially in my in my teammates in Southwestern also. So for them, di sila believe na ko kay na kuya pa naman ko. So for them, it's more on ah trying hard na kay Tati Joy mo nang kuan. So sprinter lang yun ka. So you don't have a place in long distance. Also, a lot of coaches in Cebu discriminated or discouraged me and him. But for me, I take it as a challenge. So the next time I run, di nagig ko mo ko lab. Collapsed. Yeah, and I never collapsed the next race. So, and also, I got my new brand new shoes from Coach. Even if you did not win. Yeah, but I finished top 10 man. So, I received my first, um, my first cash prize was actually 250 pesos for being the 6th place. So, for me, it's, wow, that's the first time that I received ko quarter out of running. So, for me, for me, it, it added another motivation for me because I'm I'm self-supporting. I'm an independent. So, wow, I think this. So the next time ato, medyo na sa other side ang for me as an athlete na sa ko other side. Oh, more nakakita ko another way nga maka survive ko. So it's more on my next motivation is money. So later on, so na na ko sige, more ako na I I want to train more. Just to keep on winning, para ko makaparta, and then I can support myself, my studies, and also my siblings. So later ato niya na namura nag si coach na wala na siya sa iyang. Marag naglipog na siya, saan ko pag, pag control that time because I'm very overwhelmed with the money. Because I keep, that time na nagsunod-sunod na ako ang winning, I'm always in the top three. So I ko, mudagan ko ni coach, mudagan ko ni, i-register ko kay, there's only few, few. What competition did you participate in? Always in the fun, mga weekly fun runs. Yes, weekly fun runs. So lipay kay Kusibu, kay dagan na kay fun runs every week. But later on, Ko said, I have another goal for you. It's not only here in Cebu. Mm -hmm. I want you to be one of the top marathoners in the country. And you only have to focus on training. And in order for that, you have to minimize joining fun runs. Kay. Every time you join a fun run, you have to rest on a Saturday. Kay. You run kay Sunday. And on a Monday, you have to rest to recover. And on and the next week, you have to run. Ka, so, you mo mga activities. Ko ana dili na kay grabe ang intensity ba so mm -hmm. mag, uh, mag taper pa Yes and then for him he has another goal you have to set a goal 
So ni Ana siya, you have to sacrifice some of the runs and then para na ako murag na disappoint kay na nagud ko yung murag para na ako na ako yung weekly allowance through running. But later on ni Ana siya, okay, the time na delete ka pa na ganun, I'll give you an allowance. So, personal. So, he can take from his own So, so, sige, sige. And then ni Ana siya na ako nga, you have to think of one big race. That's enough. Uh, you have to think of one big race in a year na will also give you kung maka-perform kag mayo that that winning will also go to you yeah go to me maybe for a year okay so and it happened yun. it 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 pays off so so i believe in the program he he gave me so hona um ni taas gid amo ang um pagkuyog sa sa running kay after being pag achieve na ko to be to be one of the top marathoners in the country for me i thought dito na okay na pani coach i'm 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 okay na kay i'm there na but he said no dili pa i have Bil another yes, goal yeah you me. have to go to to compete See. in um, another international competition so next up to is games in komoraglisod na because i'm not part of the national team that time but yan siya nga you have just to keep on um hitting the qualifying for the sea games Masin mapansin na ka. So, it happened and next is after SEA Games 2015, the next goal was Olympics. So, that time also, ko grabe naman ka. Bawa siya, impossible naman kayo na Olympics. So, for me, murag layo na kayo na ang goal na erase na erase. So, for him, no, it's possible. Let's try. Siya lagi na ang porsigin ako to keep on setting another goal ba. So, ako na lang is, sige, try na ako. Let's see. Unsay, unsay makaya. And then I made it to Olympics. I made it to qualify as being the first Filipina. So, niya na ako possible. Yes. So, so, all this time, Coach Philip has been the one pushing your legs. Yes, yes, yes. So it's him. Okay. Actually, all, all this was all his dream. Ganag siya. Kasi maka-represent sa country sa SEA Games. So, maka-qualify sa Olympics. But, what yun na niya na-achieve. So, we want that na ako ang mo-achieve, Anna. Why her, Coach? What did you see in her when you first invited her to meet? Okay, nothing romantic. What did you see in her when you encouraged her to shift to long distance? Imagine, first 21K. Once I am drunk, automatic second place. First 42K, automatic third place. So, Nakita na na ako ang potensya ni Joy. Ako, first, first 21K na po, ang makumunta, automatic. So, niyan ako niya nga. <laughs> so, niyan ako niya nga. Joy, I think, mas ikaw ang right chance compared na ako. Mm -hmm. Kaya, that time, ang good, uh, 2006, 7, 8. Actually, ako mo yung mudaog sa mga laki. Mm -hmm. That time, ako mo yung permi mudaog. Road running. Yeah. Absolutely. And then, night time na nag-abot namin, 2009. So, nag-run ko ko, nag-run siya. Muda ako, champion ko, ni-champion ko siya. Okay. So, kami doon. And then, there's such time na, ningo nag-i ko nga, I think na ikaw yan na mag-give up na ito o sa. So, dilik yan na ako ang mupadayon. Ikaw ang mupadayon sa akong goal. So, continue. Musupport ko ni mo. All throughout. Basta, after, after college ni mo, tagahid 3 years. Tagahid 3 years. So, if, ka na nga 3 years, ma-achieve na ito ang goal na ito. Goal pa sabot. Achievable. Achievable. The bigger, the bigger yeah. goals are achievable. If dili makuha na ito in 3 years, okay, stop running. Ako mo yung continue. Okay. What was your last competition? Actually, karo nag-compete ka. Ah, okay. In a triathlon. Yeah, triathlon. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so triathlon. And then, nasa yung mga run competition. But more on focus na sa coaching. There's a question here, Mary Joy. Are there, is there cash price in the SEA Games? No. It's more on mental. But there's incentives from the from the government. Mm -hmm. What incentives are these? Cash if, incentives. If you may ask. Okay. okay. So of course, uh, we've heard that the city government will be giving you um, a reward. Yes. As con congratulatory reward. Okay. We have several questions here. If you did not win in Malaysia, <laughs> <laughs> what would you have done aside from going back to Italy? <laughs> <laughs> I stay in my room for maybe one week and I, 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 I will not talk to people and I'll cry and I'll be very disappointed or I don't know. Silver? Huh? Silver, silver no. I won't, I won't settle Still. with silver. Okay. So I'm, I'm training 
I'm training my hardest to really get the goals. So, for me, I didn't know how to do it. I didn't get the goal. So, I don't know as a kupadong, but it's more on. Basit. Basit mo, di ko ganahan na. Maon na yung reason. Basit din ako mo padayan sa running ba. So, I don't know what to happen. So, din ako ma-forgive akong self. So, I really have to do my best. Yan ako basit mo. Kamang ko. Going to finish line. I really have to get the goal. Coach, was that the same expectation? Yeah. The same. But, nag-read din ako something na If just in case they can make it, if my silver or my bronze or wala, manita ng something na i i kuan na program for joy. So one, what was the backup plan? Yeah, three back. Okay, or in Japan at least out sa dere. Okay, once na siya dito, magbukos mo siya training. If mo stay sa dere, so mas comfort zone, no? Yeah, there. So as a coach, mga bro, as a coach, as a coach is nape mga alternative, di man. Although my cousin, cousin, confident siya, confident ko mo daaw siya, but yeah, sure, di man nata matagal. Yeah, anything can happen. There are things that are out of our control. Yeah, kami is before race, di kami mo set o kung di man mayon na mo stole sa ubang na okay kaya ni kaya ni bata. Mas mo perform na hindi ka mo mo yung mo set na mo. Okay. What I mean by the media, the news of it. Yes, yes. It's rather that you surprise everyone with a gold medal. Can you give us three names, Cebuanas, that you see have a potential to follow in your footsteps? They're good. Three Cebuanas. Yes. If you can give us three names. Running. Running, yes. Um, I have... Two from our grassroots, Giselle, Machea, um, no, my sangai, Mary Joy Loberanes, mm -hmm. and Kisa Paman. Si Buana, are you? Did you see Buano? Oh, what are you doing? Si Buana. my lucky, huh? Si Piscos. Oh, Piscos. Ah, yeah, yeah, Rafael Piscos. Asa man is What are they doing? And what are they doing? Is he a si Buano? No, no, no. Lili siya si Buano, si Rafael. Lili na siya taga din. So, I can sing as Why do you consider them as? Um, I can sing as 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 at their um early age right now. Kuan kay sila very um hard worker. Kanang grabi mo training ko gihan and focus mo sila and they look at look at me as their um, inspiration. So, and makita sa na ko nga um, ilahang mga performance at, at their age right now, very competitive na po. So, hopefully, mapadaya nila. Have you seen? Yeah. The Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. Yeah, Andrew. <laughs> Have you spoken to them, giving them tips? Yeah, actually, um, Giselle Che is part of our grassroots program. She's from Guba. Yes, please, so, please talk about the program. Yeah, we have a grassroots running program. We started last uh, May, uh, last April 2015. And it's been growing now. Not actually in Cebu City lang. We have also in Liluan. And also in... Uh, we have also a boys Talisa. town, yeah, Talisa. Talisa. boys town and girls town. So um, we've been um, um, visiting these schools to give free running program mm -hmm. during our free time, and then um, we also gave them um, weekly training program, mm -hmm. and we also prepared them for some certain competitions for them to join. Kami may mangita nila mga fun runs or. Asa sila pwede mo appeal and we, kung kutub sa makaya, we also support them while give, uh, we already gave them running shoes, um, some school supplies. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. through, through, yes, through yeah. In the program. good people also helping us with this program. Actually, the program is the target is we want Cebu as running capital of the Philippines. Yes. Okay, and why? And why? Why in Cebu? Okay, first, the record holder of Marathon, in uh, 42 record holder is yes. Mary Jo Tabat. Yeah. 21 K record holder is Mary Jo Tabat. The first Milo champion 
sa 42 East from Cebu. Okay, the seven time champion sa Milo sa men's East from Cebu. And then, why? Why not be Mahimo ang Cebu as running capital of the Philippines? We don't no. lack the talent. Yes, certainly. Yeah, we have so, a lot of talents. Cebuanos are born. Cebuanos are born. If the talent is there, the talent is yes, what do we lack? So the lack is the opportunity. Yes. Okay. The opportunity of all the... This young... This young... Uh, individuals, individuals. Especially in the mountain area. Mm -hmm. opportunity for them to compete to try running kay sometimes mag good ignorant ba yung mga bata outside the city so mm -hmm. ah, dagan sa karsada so we want all we want them to experience also ba so like experience what, yes experience na unsa nang mga experience na ko, uh, elementary pa lang istinahan ako running but our school what? is dili siya ingana ah, sa yung school coach ah uh, sa Danao okay the Danao city central school and then our school is really focused into ina na sports. Mm -hmm. Kay every school mo na mo ni masipu focus. So we na na run and return miras mo apoy ko but walay next na itago. Kay ang select select kaman sila. Mm -hmm. And then pag high school na ako the same situation. Asa man yung high school? Ah, uh, UB and then ah uh, UB for two years and then uh, national Carmen National for two years also. Okay. So nita ko high school the same situation sa lahat ko but. Mm -hmm. Pag college na ako, na ako teacher ng airport sa Kua. Runner siya. So, coach po siya. Siya na teacher na ako. Diyan ako. Southwestern. No. Northwestern sa Kua Colleges. Under by Amis Magpali. Okay. So, yun ang school at sa Danau. So, diyan ako. Encourage ko ng teacher. And then, diyan ako nag-start sa running. Very good. And then, after college na ako, nakuha ko sa Twister. In school na ako, it was not this thing. For your master's na? Ah, no, no. Second course. Ah, what was your second course? Your first course was? Management. Okay. The second? The second is physical education. Okay. And then the third is special education. Well, we have three undergraduate degrees. Yes. Ah, di mo lang may special education. Okay. Okay. And then the last is a master's. Okay. Public administration. You started this program in Guba? Yes. Yes. Because... I I was born. I know I live in Guba. Okay, your family is still there. Yes, my father is still there. So all of a sudden silence. Yes, that's why the program namo is based on to mga laki namo. Yeah. I don't know what I mean. Di ba ganahan ko? Ganahan ko marang matulay opportunity. So mo na ni kami face opportunity ng kanak. So, muna ang aming focus is the elementary level na gano'n mo sa certain mga activities or race every month. Ikaw, Joy, 13 years old, you started running. 12. 12 years old. Paano ko to intramurals and then suddenly with this, with that experience from intramurals, nabot ko o palarong pambansa. And then after that, pag high school, it's zero na. Asa man yung elementary? Guba. Guba elementary. I finished my elementary in Guba elementary school and high school, Guba na siya na high school. Do you share the same experience na kulang po opportunities? I think wala po na kulang opportunity. I think for me, perfect kayo ang running pagsulod sa kuha. So I was given a lot of opportunity that time. So What about your family? Did they encourage you also to go into running? No, no. Walay ra, walay athletic sa mo ang family so it's more on wala ako kita basin na na sa kung mga kaluluhan nga na kaya wala mang yun in circle of my family this generation you're the only one yes I'm the only one who just studies elementary high school sa lutoyan mo elementary high school so she has a master's degree so there you go okay uh, you, how did you want to celebrate if you won the gold medal in Malaysia? What was your plan? I didn't expect so. Wala, uh, I didn't expect. Wako kabaw sa pag celebrate, but um, a lot of people are already celebrating it with me. Nag prepare si na celebration, so mana pa kung celebration. <laughs> so, was, uh, by the way, was Southwestern your first school in college? No. Um, my first year was in UC. Okay. And then I transferred to. What did you transfer? Um, it's a bigger <laughs> opportunity in 
Southwestern. You got the scholarship in Southwestern? Yes. Okay. Full, full scholar. Mm -hmm. Full scholar. And you were a full scholar from first year until? Yeah, until my graduation. After my master's degree. <laughs> ah, you mean oh. you had during your master's? Yes. yes okay, I'm full scholar. Also. Same with me. Was it difficult? How difficult is it to be an athlete and a student at the same time? It's more on your time management and your setting your priorities. So for me, ma balance ra if on sa imuhang priorities. So it's more on balancing your time. So I also I don't want um um gihatag nga um gihatag sa Southwestern ako mabaliwala. So I have to give, I have to deliver as a good student. I also want to deliver. Uh, I also want to give pride to Southwestern for giving me the scholarship, mm -hmm. so the, the sports yes. scholarship. Do you have rituals when you compete? Yes, I follow the same rituals. Um, what are these? Uh, she talks to her shoes. You're saying one of the rituals is you talk to your shoes? Yes, I always talk to my shoes and then really? if that shoes won't perform uh, after <laughs> no, sometimes okay. I'll give you another chance. I'll use you in my next competition, but if you can't perform, okay, I'll change you. <laughs> How many shoes has that? <laughs> yeah, no, my my shoes has one man limit uh, limited um mileage, so mm -hmm. it, I I can only use that for Race. for competition. Mm -hmm. Different ra uh, racing shoes, different training shoes. So mm -hmm. I usually talk. To my racing shoes, so okay. What and, do you say? Yes. I first I talk to you. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. So. <laughs> 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 so, so yes, yes, yes. And uh, sh the shoes should be ready a night before. I don't want to. I I, I really take took good care of my shoes, especially when I travel. I I really have to separate that from the rest of my things. I won't check. I won't check. Ma check in my shoes. It's in yes. my backpack. Okay, mm. habili na kung talang bagahe. Ma expect my shoes is with me, so I, I can run. run. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> then, wise, yes. Wise, wise. yes. Yes. And then a night before, or no, upon my arrival in a certain place, I have to take off my shoes. Ah, pa onan ako, ready na na ako, and then na la special place ginan. I don't want. I don't some. I don't want someone to get my <laughs> shoes and. Try to, to try, try to yeah, dili or any of my shoes I don't like. Eh. Para na ako mausab na ang shape sa akong shoes niya. Di ko ganan mura siya makalimot na niya sa akong ah, okay. so, The connection might be broken. Yes, okay. the connection. So I talk to my shoes nga ana ready na ko and then you have to give a good fight and then mo na wala kay failure akong mga shoes day. I actually love them all. So I keep are them. Are they still with you? Yes, all my racing shoes are with me. So it has different, it has different stories. It has different journey, and including I, I can always yes, I can always remember on sa ilahang na achieve or on sa ilahang failure. Some right, like for example my my Rio Rio Olympic shoes. Uh -huh. Actually, I said. I was very disappointed with you. <laughs> I was I was running with you a longer time. So, <laughs> but then, but then the time nga wala na mating ko nang luod siya so luod tayo. So I gave him another chance. So I ran. Yes, I ran. I ran that shoes. So that was August 2016 no, sa Olympics. Okay, nang luod siya but sige taganti ka last chance ha this year. So that was the milo. And that just gave me another uh, his his uh, historic feat because I finished my uh, it's it's history in Milo to be the reigning Milo Marathon queen in four consecutive years and at the same time I broke my national Milo record that year last year December 2016 so yeah ako yes ka his yeah shoes at least mo na kung remember niya pa so inana it's more on the recall my shoes kay for me that's my most ko an um pinaka important thing about tan na ko ang shoes so yeah Including the pair that coach gave you the first yeah. time. Is it still there? Wow. Okay. Because that Very shoes worn. was um it's in in my house in Gupa and 
I've been away for for some some most of the time so wala na ko nabantayan nga I think ikuha na sulod sa mo ang balay so I'm actually searching it still searching it now so I'm giving reward <laughs> reward <laughs> 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 my precious <laughs> Because that that pair is very memorable. Yeah, yeah, yes. And that shoes was the one I wore in my first collapse moment. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. So, makita na siya sa picture ng mga auto nga shoes. Your biggest mistake. What was the biggest mistake for you as an athlete? Biggest mistake maybe was uh, overconfident. Overconfident ka. And coming into the race, kay sometimes manggod ma overwhelm ka when you keep on winning. Uh -huh. And then sometimes, ah, di na ako mag-training, pinakapusog na ko. Uh -huh. And then later on, um, uh, I will realize na on a race, maski pag may daog ko, but I'm not satisfied or contented with my performance. So, maan akong, mubalik din ako, kay mga yung ikaw, sorry, kay sorry Lord, kaya ba ako nila ko akong ulo. That's why you gave that a race nga pati akong performance. So, I really have to think back and you know, I'm overconfident and sometimes I don't know, I'm really From a coaching <laughs> perspective, Coach Philip, what do you think was has been her biggest mistake? Uh, actually, pinaka first is during competition. Di ka siya mamina. Okay, actually, di siya kaya mamina kung sa set na kung uh, certain procedure sa, sa race day. And then, Maria Reyes lang niya eh. Maria is lang niya after one loop na. Okay. After a certain, a certain distance. distance. But I think the more important easy, easy. thing is we learn from the yes. yes. So how do we say certain yes. problem yes. in the start of the race? Uh -huh. Ngayon siya i-control, and then kaya nalim siya kasabad. Yeah. <laughs> Mawagi na ang problem niya. Okay. Magkuhan ko na siya. Mawag siya magtat. Mawag siya magkuhan na siya. Mawag na siya siguro, no? Special, special. Special education. Yeah. Mawag siya magkuhan na. Hindi ko na. Kahit ka na. Kung naman ako ay competition, I'm very focused na on my competition. Murang mabungol na ako sa mga tanang advices ko. Though coach, I listen to his strategies, but sometimes, murang ako, ang iyang gisulti na ako, sometimes, Nasa ko'y lahi nga gitan o ba kayo. It's more on, ang sakit may tabo na po. Daghan ba kayo sa long distance running mga god and then, now na mag-nervous ko, wala ka rin. Dapat proper distribution na rin sa page. If the first half is kusog na kayo mong ibuwan, so may compensation na. Kasi it's more on, kuhan mga god, fear, fear, no, fear on not, Di ko ka deliver ug tarong ba? It's more on I don't want to fail, so mo na ako ni tarong. It's a personal goal that you set for yourself. Yeah, it's personal. Yes. Para magnerdius ko before, so kinalang ko sa isang paon para mumata. In the last kilometer in your race in Malaysia, what was in your mind? Ah, for me, seeing the finish line in Malaysia, kay yan ako yas do all nagit. I can see kay. Um, it's a looping mangod and dili ko, di pa ko magkumpiyansa even though I already made a long gap. Uh, mm. How long was your gap from the last seven, seven minutes, so it's almost two kilometers. So, okay. doing the last, last, last curve, so I can, I, I can, I can see my, I can see pa, wak na ko nakita ako ang uh, nagsunod ba. So, for me, confident na ko kaya, but un, until di na ko makita ang finish line or makros na ko, Di pa ko magkumpiyansa ko sa anything can happen kasi mag-crumbs ko suddenly or mag-collapse pa ko. So, seeing the finish line, for me, nagsige na lang ko pray na Lord, unta ako, ano ni, please, ayaw na ni ko, asa ko, asa. I've been working hard for this. This is for the country. And then, ang nakalindot mang God, kaya the first four loops I was running, nag-hantaw in a certain station na nag-support na ko. But doing my last loop, Nangawa naman, <laughs> nangawa ng mga tao, asa naman gachir, that time, that ka na nga certain kuan, muna ang na kay dito na kumaluya, so ko asa na mong mga tao, then they had nada sila tanan sa finish line, cause they saw already nga, I was lady, so yung kuga ready na sila dito tanan, yung ko nangawa ng mga tao, but they're already celebrating and waiting for me at the finish line, so motong, uh, when I cross, murag na wala, murag na kubala, didagag 42k kay, their they their energy was very koan 
overwhelming. Sinab- yeah, or... overwhelming and they're mm-hmm. not to, overjoyed sila. So, ako sa... Speaking of the finish line, um, <laughs> one of the first people that you hugged was uh, Sports Commissioner Mon Fernandez yes, yes. who has helped you in your journey to Malaysia. Yes. How was it? Uh, seeing him there and hugging him? Yeah, actually, I heard um, Tatay Mon doing my last lap na yung siyagi siya, gamay na lang, Joy! So, hearing Murag siya yung pinakadakop, Murag siya yung giant dito, nga. Murag siya yung nalungo. Na, Uy, naday si Sir Mon na siya dewey, so ay, di ko ang ngayon. He did not know he was there? Yeah, I didn't know. I was, I know, I I know he will come, kay nanawag man siya na ko a night before. But I didn't expect him to be there as as early as that. But so, yano ko. Oh, na si Sir Mon. Di ko ang kaya magpakawok kay. I know, I know. Dakuk ka iyang, dakuk ka yung iyang effort nga gibuhat just just for me to be there in C game. So, so nakahatag nako additional energy to to keep on pushing, doing my last loop. So, mato na overwhelm. Pag finish nako daghan na kay media. So I was really looking at him. Kung asa na so nido si Sir Mon ako so I really hugged him and I cried because I know dili dali ang nagian so and I considered him as my tatay because siya gid ang ni fight for me so <laughs> what do you think has been his greatest contribution to your career um for me it's more on um di sa sa paglanas lanas but it's more on helping me um. Actually, the PSC now is supporting me despite uh, before I'm not a part of the national team. So um, I'm, re- I'm receiving something from them to support me on my training. And also, he helped me in kanang mapaminaw bitaw unsagid ako ang record na I'm worth it to be representing the country. And I, I didn't do anything that's he also saw your worth. Yeah, yes, yes. and for him, dako kayo yung confidence na kaya na ko mo deliver o gold for the Philippines. So another prominent figure you hugged at the finish line was Mr. Philip. Um, Wico. Yes. Um, yes, I have Doctor Wico because uh, I he's also helped help a lot and for me i won't make it to the sea games without him without pataka because um it's i need them to be part of the delegation and i'm thankful for that um, that op- opportunity he gave me and to coach philip so for for those who might not know pataka is the philippine athletics track and field association and this is a question to both of you mm. After what you've experienced, all your training, all your exposure overseas, what do you think are the changes that needs to be uh, placed, to be in place in the Philippines, um, in, in Batafa in particular, <laughs> to improve our athletes further? Uh, Philippine sports, na nai nolo Batafa. Okay. Specific guy, he was it that do anon sa. Anyway, this is uh, your personal. Yeah, it's thing. more on for me for Philippine sports. I can add more on. Um, let's let's go on. Let's let's adapt changes, and um, we learn from our experiences. So sometimes we also need to to listen to our athletes. Unsa man gikulang? Why why? Nganong gabati at compare na ta performance not only to Southeast Asian but to other countries also who, who's excelling in sports. Ba? Because um, through 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 comparing comparing our uh, comparing our athletes' experiences, so we 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 also want to change, ba? So unsa may kulang because we only focus on oh we give them all the support they need, but mm-hmm. but when we talk to the athletes, no kul daghan kayo kulang. So maybe it's more on and di lang tamo focus of one one sports. We focus in um the give entire attention yeah, to yeah others, give so. attention to other sports also and especially to sports nga kung asa gita potential ng medal and also more na na uh, uh, adapt changes and let's welcome changes and let's keep on learning and also exposure for athletes for me it helps a lot so you International expose, exposure yes you yes. expose your athletes so they will learn also on sa ilang kulang because for me ang kulang din ako is self confidence and 
I my self confidence after training in Japan and in Italy has has somehow changed. Somehow, it it really changed. Ito ko for me is uh, actually changes voice of the athlete. Next to that is uh, the uh, equipment mm -hmm. yeah, facilities actually facilities so for all the athletes and also for the coaches. So we need the money for this, definitely. Uh, I think no need much. Sure. Now my other, like for example, sa running. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, uh, facilities in high altitude training. So, di ba in Kenya? So, kung sa elevation nila that's around two thousand. And then why sa to as a Filipinas wala tay certain uh, elevation nga our training camp ha, at that si ah. Uh, high altitude mm -hmm. and then we know already that there's uh, an improvement if mag training ka sa high altitude especially sa mga endurance athlete mm -hmm. so in other so, words we're aware of these things but we are not adopting them yes, yes. Here, uh -huh. actually and then now see so you go search for mga area and then the highest mountain sa Pilipinas is 2,900 which is that there is Mount Apo mm -hmm. okay and then Mount Bolag is around 2,900 also or around right. uh, in Mindanao there's also Mount I don't know number one and then uh, the highest mountain mm -hmm. or the highest <laughs> I think road in the Bolivia is around 2,300 mm -hmm. that's around 9,000 feet yeah. so why not mag, mag create like something uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right? 1968 yeah. na discover na sa uh, I think Mexico na Olympic they discovered nila na there's uh, an improvement if mag train ka sa high altitude so definitely these are things that our sports officials yes. can think about yes no or, need for I think no need of ka nang itartan ni mo kaya in Kenya wala ka itartan yeah, it's all rough road yeah. Yeah. kaya so nila so diba di siya so kaya nang grabbing a certain equipment so kaya nang mag start ta ang build and then one thing also that that builds also our tourism, mm -hmm. tourism, sport tourism, mm -hmm. sa country. Oh, yeah. How do you think we can do that? Uh, from an athlete and okay, a perspective. Okay, this one, uh, Malaysian athlete. They're training in? Baguio. Singapore, they're asking me. Kung say asa na yung wapo na training kung sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. So now, the Southeast Asian countries are looking for her. Yes. Yeah, so looking to forward visit to visit the the so the yeah. So, <laughs> so mona mona all the time on week one. Why? Baguio is only one thousand four hundred. Okay. Okay. So why not build that? Or maybe also why we will start a program, a running program, na dito sa Luzon katong sa Mount Dat Data sa Mount Pula katong ito mo start a program. Mm -hmm. Kaya yung Kenya at around 2,400 So why na mag-start na kung kung dito and then mag-abil ta and then prove it also sa our program mm -hmm. in Guba 3 months program, after 3 months program Your, Here's the result The program that you have organized here Yes Do you get support from local government units? Actually, they are supporting for the transportation Okay Sa, sa mga kids na mga mo-travel sa city Okay And then Although that would be something that we have done, eh? so we are asking support from the private sector. And then Luan also, the mayor of Luan is very supportive sa program. program. Because one program that uh, among the promote, as I said, we want Cebu as running capital of the Philippines. Yes. Below, below to that program, there's an objective. The objective of the successful program is government athletic scholarship program. Mm -hmm. There's no program that is It's more on academic side. Yes. Okay, so what can there's no uh, government athletic program, and then most of the athletes na uh, qualify sa Olympics is at what age? 22, 23, that's after college. Mm -hmm. So but, we need to be ready also on that one. And then college also, short lang kayo mga activities like running. So how many competitions lang sa running? So, gamay lang. So that's why we introduce the program or our kids sa daghan ng mga competition. So based on what you're saying, we all have the talent here, we all have the skills, Actually, but we just yeah. need the support from 
all sectors. Yeah, we need to support. And then somebody na mo push, mo push aning a program, the grassroots running program, na mo push get from the very beginning until the end sa target sa program na promote siya. Mapadayon. Yeah, mapadayon. Like now, sustainability of the program. Yes, sustainability of the program. And then we're planning to build an advocacy program na mapromote din na mo ni siya na na mga tagal ko opportunity atong mga mga natong mga naitalent especially sa mountain barangay Cebu the tallest mountain in Cebu is around the I don't know the highest altitude or elevation sa Cebu is around 1,000 that's in Mount Manungal and Osmeña Peak so we hope our government officials are listening to our conversation today so they can at least do something uh, we have to listen to our athletes and these are our these are award-winning athletes yeah. talking the voice of the athlete is very important yeah okay yeah. they're the one that uh, experience mm -hmm. a training then i think mas tagaanog, the best thing also is na i office for the athlete head of the athlete voice for the athlete and then mo na sila ang athlete na mo speak kung unsay na ang gusto mm -hmm. they're the one who perform so if all the time lang sa coaches or sa mga higher wala na sila ka-experience sa pinaka-lower din and then nowadays is different na compared to before kaya so, ang athlete's run is pwede na maka self kuha nila uh, self training okay kaya buwan na sila sila so tingnan na tingnan na daghan nga pwede input so the ganat na grow na tong sports community, grabe na, and then make sure there's a continuity of the program. Okay, thank you very much for that input. Two of your fans, Joy, are saying congratulations. Ana Lu Barbato Bronyola saying Filipinos were surely are surely proud of your victory, Miss Joy. And from Tukna India, congratulations. Please, we will give you this time to say anything you want to your fans and your supporters. Your message to your fans and supporters. From both of you. I would like to say thank you for supporting us. Uh na mo maachieve the joy if dilito mo sa inyong suporta na mo. And then also to our sponsors, na dako bika yung tabang na mo na maatabot na mo motor is ka wasake and the Borromeo brothers, na since from the start, wagit sila, wagit sila mo pa na, wagit sila mo biyan na mo. And then, tanan, ihatag nila na mo para ma-achieve na mo ang inyong goal. And then, achieve na mo tanan, tumod na at sila. Leading to the Asian Games next year, and to the 2020 Olympics in Japan, What's your message to Mary Joy? Ah, uh, always focus. <laughs> always focus. Focus. Yeah. Kay sometimes kay mga opportunity na mo kami sa iya, medyo mo kuan siya. Like so always son. remember what is your goal. Or what's the rest of your goal? Yes, your goal is to perform. Oh. Okay, so do that one. Perform <laughs> first <laughs> before anything else. Huh? Perform <laughs> first. <laughs> Perform first, now joy yes, before anything else. Yes. Your, your message, joy to your coach first. It's okay. Your response. You know. Uh, thank you, coach. Okay. It's been a long journey for us together, and the na kami na experience. So hopefully we'll make it to Tokyo 2020 or more. So yes, for me, I can only promise you is. Really, I I'll be very focused on my goal because I don't want to sa kung naitabo from previous previous Olympics to happen in another Olympics. So I really wanted uh, this. And then ina ko saya nga ng opportunity nga gihatag na ko karon labi na kay daghan na ni support na ko from my private sponsors from Water Ace, Sir Junel, and now PSC is backing me up and the rest the rest of Cebuanos and Filipinos and money so ipadayon din ako and also for the young young generations who's also looking up yes, for me yes. uh, my my advice is um you have to focus also on uh, 
Kung focus yan, ngayon ako, focus yan mo sa inyo. Focus, yes. Kasi kita mang good like, uh, it, nasa to ang uh, daghan kayo. For me, daghan na kayo kung na-experience so many temptations, many nga ka nang muli ko yung saya tong dan. I've been into nakaabot kong mga victories and mga failures and daghan and usa lang yun is um, ayaw big si Mang sa imong dalan. Focus, eh, wapa ka na, wapa ni mo na-reach yung mong dream and keep on keep on believing na kaya na ni mo pero ayaw na si Big Dam, go ha, go ha, ta, sad. So, you really have... Do you plan of uh, coaching in the future? Um, if given the opportunity, ang butog na ako'y talent sa coaching, but uh, more on, karon I focus on my athletic career, so if ang butog, musalig sila na ako mo coach ko, sige, taklo na ako sila. So, <laughs> Wait, tama na yun sa ko, ha? So, focus, and also, ang ato, dili lang sige tagdamgo, kay libre naman gid magdamgo, so we also have to to work that dream to happen, so it takes a lot of sweat, time, sacrifices, uh, discipline to achieve the dream. So, focus on your goal. And tiwas sa eskwela. Yes, that also is very important. Very good. So, Joy, Mary Joy, thank you very much for dropping by and for bringing us a goal. Thank you very much for the pride that you have given to Cebu and the Philippines as well as your coach. Coach, congratulations. Congratulations to both of you. Again, these flowers are for you. Yes. <laughs> so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our guests for today in the Freeman Conversations, Mary Joy Tabal, our gold medalist in marathon in the Southeast Asian Games in Malaysia, and she and her coach will be joining other international athletes as they compete. And let's pray for them as they compete in the Asian Games next year. And of course, the target competition 2020, the Olympics in Japan. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Jobert Okao, the online editor of The Freeman. And this is The Freeman Conversations. Until next time. Woo! Wow. Yes.